this up with some juice. Juice, but yeah, definitely, definitely. Right. I would definitely be feeling the juice and pizza movements. Yeah, dude, but he like walked up in here, like just like you know, all biggie, and he was just like, "Yo, I'm coming in with some free pizza for y'all." And I was like, <laughs> yo, really? Wow. For, yo, just for the commentators? Oh, not dude, or just for, for everyone. I, yeah, I was gonna say like, man, this guy's about to buy like eight pies or something. Yeah. It's cool, man. That I guess uh, that makes up for no pot bonus, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather the pizza because I don't think I'm about to win this tournament. Yeah, I mean that that is that is really cool, and that just shows like how much he cares because like normally at any other tournament, like I like I'm I speak for myself when I say this, but maybe a lot of people can relate to me, but I forget to eat. You know what I'm saying? Like you're just so caught up with like just trying to get some games in your your actual tourney matches, and then it's like. You know, five hours go by, ten hours go by, and you're like, wow, I haven't eaten since, like, yesterday. Yeah, man, I definitely feel you on that. Sometimes I just forget that I even have a stomach at tournaments. Some people actually prefer not to eat during tournaments because uh, when you eat, your blood goes more to your stomach than your brain, and it actually, you know, wow. for some people that messes them up, yeah. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. The human body's crazy thing. Oh, and oh, falling short. All right, we're getting into this match, though. Forget about food. The so pizza can wait. So is that Jagerin? Uh, yeah, probably Jagerin. Or Jagerin? Yeah, probably Jagerin. Alright, Jagerin. Yeah. Repping my, uh, main character right now, Ike. Repping that Fire Emblem. Yo, I'm really excited and shocked, actually, that Ike made it back into Smash 4. Oh, yeah, he's super popular. He's yeah. one of the few Fire Emblem characters to be in more than one game. Yeah. Uh, I think, actually, Ike and Marth are really the only ones. Yep. So... Uh, yeah, definitely cool to see Ike back, and he's mm -hmm. definitely been hitting the gym. Oh my god, yeah, like, he's fighting for not only his friends this time, more like the world, like <laughs> those muscles. He's fighting for his gym buddies. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and Zero just doing it for himself right now. Yeah. This, this man, he plays for himself and his moms. That's <laughs> a he, And also, shout out to Zero's mom. She is so supportive, and just every story I've heard about her is wonderful. Like, shoot. Well, yeah, I mean, I was going to say, in a way, you know, that's not even that bad. Like, you know, fighting for yourself... You know, that's that's cool. Then fighting for like, you know, your fam, like, you know, I really respect that a lot. Yeah, she supports Zero's, you know, pro gaming ambitions and that's why he reps that scarf. Which yeah. people for some reason give him flack for, but come on, dude, like he's ah. he's a young kid in a foreign country. Yeah. Not, what's wrong with being a little homesick or trying to trying to rep your mother who's like the whole reason that you're doing this? Exactly. Like, <clears throat> you know, I have no problem with like I'm actually like I'm like a sucker for little things like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm a sucker for like really hard friendships and like brotherhoods and all that stuff. Yeah. And like things like that, like little things with meaning. Like he has he has purpose going to these tournaments. Like he has purpose. Like every time he's in the lab, like trying to like you know practice up and like perfect his his craft with Pit or Fox, wherever he's playing in any of the games, for that matter. A but, lot of know. a lot of people forget he's pretty much the sole representative of Chile Smash. Right. There are a couple others, but you know nobody is really close to the level of Zero, and he's out here doing it big for his country, there, and for South America in general too. Yeah. Definitely a very underrepresented continent in Smash. Yeah. So I'd love to. to oh zero. my God! All right, that's 24 stocks in a row, man. <laughs> We're keeping the tally for you guys. For real. We should have a little counter on the side. Yeah. I mean, that would actually just be kind of... That would be crazy. That would be a little Nyani too much. I don't know can hear that, but surely... <laughs> you, you, you totally should. <laughs> Shout out to Nyani, assisting with the stream. Chibo, I think, playing pools right now? I think Chibo entered. Ah, yeah. Right, let's yeah. see what the counter pick will be. Huh? 24. It's 24. Yeah. yeah. You definitely should. Yeah. No, no, don't, don't do it though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's man. Zero is just a monster, and you guys are kind of seeing him run the exhibition here. But <clears throat> assuredly, there will be some more competitive matches coming up on the stream. He is not the only beastly player in the building. It just so happened that they wanted his pool to be on stream first. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Huge coincidence, I and would say. Uh, Jaeger in with the 18% lead right now, but Zero definitely looking to cut that down as soon as possible. And speaking of cut that down, that little down tilt. Yep. I and know that very well. Oh, wow. Reading the jump back. That's actually a really smart play. A lot of players, you know, they'll try to jump backwards off the stage to yeah. try to avoid, like, a, a basic edge guard. But Zero, definitely above that level, and he can scout stuff like that. He's like, all right, I know you're scared. I know you're going to try to get away from me, so I'm going to adapt my combo accordingly. Yeah, especially, like, you know, a lot of people, like, not even just me, but, like, 
like you know other characters they'll try and like do the whole runoff back air to kind of like beta hit or just like to play a little safe but like you said you know zero just knows better than that like, oh my um, god the arrow loops not even like actual loops bringing the arrows in a loop like you, <laughs> like yeah, you yeah, could yeah. still do that but like yeah. just looping the arrow over and over again every time uh i see any pit really uh playing this kind of style where you're in the air off stage just doing arrow after arrow forward air after forward air it just takes me back to apex of this past january armada just totally giving mm. it to me with 2k yes yeah. armada of course taking first place at apex 2014 in project yeah. m i don't think anyone saw that coming especially because he was kind of like fading into the background and melee a little bit he was just taking a break but yeah man wasn't it, that, wasn't it like his first time playing pm i don't think so i don't think it was quite that extreme i think he actually did practice in sweden for a while oh, okay but i was man. gonna say that'd be pretty crazy if that was the case wow the sniper speaking of the swedish sniper armada we got the what is uh, let me think of something clever the, the chilean sharp shooter <laughs> <laughs> niani loved that one all right and <laughs> Okay, Jaeger and still struggling to get this first stock, man. I, I wonder who is gonna be the first one. <gasps> oh, all right, all right. Oh. Ending the ending the streak at 27 stocks. Okay, Jaeger was the guy. He wanted to be the guy, and he did it. All right. Okay. Now Zero just going for these juggles. He pops them up with down tilt, and what Zero really is efficient at with Pit is once he hits you with anything, even an arrow from halfway across the screen, he makes sure he turns that into a death combo. Right. You hit the first arrow, then you jump for Oh, that's that's 1-1. One, one.